Hi there. I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, tutorial slash guitar lesson on uh, harmonic screams, harmonic squeals, dive bombs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, cover a few whammy bar techniques and basic harmonics in general. So uh, it goes a little bit something like this. Okay, so just letting you know, um, I actually started on a Ibanez. Uh, I've been playing guitar for about 30 years, but I made the move in the first year to Epiphone, and then never used a whammy bar uh, for nearly 30 years. And I made the move to Ibanez, back to Ibanez because the whammy bar. I moved to Epiphone because the distortion was heavier, but I moved back to Ibanez because the whammy bar is great. Um, so for any of you that have never tried the whammy bar, I highly recommend it. It's um, a whole new world, uh, and it's easier than you think. Okay. Yeah, so to do some of these techniques I'm going to be talking about, you're going to need a floating bridge uh, and a whammy bar. Um, I've got the Ibanez here. This is a Geo. They're worth about 500 bucks new. You can pick up a more expensive brand of uh, with their original Floyd Rose for about 500 second hand. Um, it's got the locking nuts up the top. Uh, you want to have the um, volume all the way up. Tone all the way up, no bass, all treble. Have the switch down for the treble pickup, which is the bridge pickup right here. Uh, you're going to need uh, reverb, the effect, and a bit of delay, and a distortion pedal. Okay, so let's get into the harmonic side of things. A harmonic is when you pluck the string and then, say for example with your other hand, you can um, touch the string, don't push down on it, just touch it and take your finger off and then uh, if you hit it in the right spot you should hit a harmonic uh, like say maybe this this is the regular string on the G on the 5th fret and hit the harmonic uh, you can get them on the 12th fret on the 7th fret and on the 5th fret right on the bar is the, um, the metal bar there that's the best place to um, hit those ones. Uh, we'll be mainly talking about the G string there, uh, how you go from the 5th, or the 7th, then to the 5th, then on the 4th you've got two harmonics there, and then on the 3rd fret you've got two harmonics there. You can also get one on the 2nd fret but it's a lot harder. Uh, so you can do them anywhere on every string, so I'll just give you an example, run up the E string, the big one. Same on your A string, D string, um, and you can also run them up on the frets instead of going on the same string. Go through the different strings. Twelfth fret, seventh fret. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd mention is that um, whatever you can do with the harmonics up on this area here, you can do the mirrored. So you can also do the harmonics up here. So you've got these ones there, and you've also got them up here. So there. They're mirrored. Uh, whatever you can do up the, this end, you can do up this end. And in the middle, I think the twelfth is where they um, they're in the middle somewhere, right in the center of the, um, the strings. Okay, so technically, you could actually play the harmonics up the top end if you wanted to. Okay, so another way you can do the harmonic is the pinched harmonic with the thumb and the pick. 
and what you do is when you pluck the string you brush your thumb just past the string and it just brushes past it as you pluck the string so if I was to play some regular notes that's just regular now with the pinched harmonic and that's the pinched harmonic uh, another way you can do the harmonic is the palm harmonic where you hit the string and then I'll move my hand forward a little bit from where I pluck it and then just touch it with the uh, palm there. Okay, so another way you can do a harmonic is um, you play a note with your left hand, hit the 4th, uh, 5th or 7th fret for example, and then when you pluck the string, you just uh, tap it with your little finger or middle finger there uh, with the harmonic side. So I'll try that out now. Okay, so one thing I thought I'd mention is that when you're doing these dive bombs or harmonic screams or squeals, whatever you want to call them, uh, make sure you mute the rest of the strings, whether it's with your uh, thumb and your fingers there, or your palm, or both, so the G string rings. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can just take your time with these dive bombs uh, using a little bit of precision and just sl slow it down, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the harmonics, uh, the main places you're going to use them. Uh, they're mostly on the G string on the 7th fret, 5th fret on the frets, and then you have two on the 4th fret and two on the 3rd fret. You can also get uh, one on the 2nd fret, but it's hard to get, so I'll go through them individually. 7th uh, fret G string, 5th fret G string. 4th fret, number 1, 4th fret, number 2, 3rd fret, the first one, and the second one on the 3rd fret. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to talk about how you can sort of incorporate those harmonics and you uh, this is a bit of a drill that I sort of run through with the regular grip, uh, starting low, run the harmonics into each other, whether you go up or down with the whammy bar, and going up the harmonics, and then back down, and up and back down. <laughs> Okay, another thing you can do is you can hit two harmonics at once. Say, for example, uh, the fifth fret, hit the B and the G string at the same time. For like a double harmonic. Okay, so this next technique is um, a technique two sets around uses where you use a pinched harmonic with your thumb, with the pick, and then um, use your left hand to use the whammy bar. Okay. 
Okay, this is another technique is where you uh, spin the ball around, use the reverse grip, and then bring it back. Okay, and another way you can do this is uh, the Dimebag Daryl way, which is probably one of the best actually. Um, it's the reverse spawn, and uh, what he does is, um, or what you can do, is um, when you drop the bar back, so the string is a little bit floppy, uh, what you do is you flick the G string, it's all done the G string, you flick it uh, while all the strings are floppy, and then sort of catch the harmonic on the way up. So you instead of hitting it up from the top and going down, the strings are loose, you hit it, flick it with your finger, middle finger, and then quickly catch it with your middle finger, just touch the string as you're coming up with the loose strings. So another cool thing you can do is a, um, it's like flicking the bar or something. Um, you can either flick it up or down, uh, normal grip or reverse grip. So something like this. That's reverse and then regular. Grip. Okay, another thing you can do is you can actually use the whammy bar and just your regular notes and uh, not the harmonics, just on the ring. Yeah, so when doing the um, whammy bar with just the regular notes, uh, you can do normal grip and reverse grip. You can do stuff like this. One other thing I thought I'd throw in there is uh, make sure you um, use your E string on its own sometimes, just like no harmonics at all, just add some lows and you know, shuffle it up a bit. With maybe uh, the harmonic on the uh, seventh fret on the G string, this one here. Okay, one last thing I thought I'd mention is that you can use the uh, feedback from your guitar amp. If it's turned up a bit loud and you sort of face towards it. Um, I haven't got it that loud to do all the cool stuff, but uh, yeah, so you can just use it mildly here. But uh, when it's turned up a lot louder, it'll be a little bit different with a good quality amp and guitar. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, pretty much everything I know on harmonics. Uh, a lot of the stuff, uh, well, half the stuff, or some of the stuff I just learned recently, so uh, I just before making the vid. Like the reverse um, Don Bag Daryl style and a few other things, such as technique. And yeah, so that's made me learn a few new techniques, which is really awesome. I um, hope someone learned something today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. If you made it to the end, 
And um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you want. Um, yeah, cool. Hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your day and peace out.